The ocean has saved me so many times in my life. The ocean is the most healing place that I know. My name's Holly Beck and I'm a former professional surfer and I've spent the last 11 years living in Central America running women's surf and yoga retreats. And right now I am a master's of counseling student. I'm working on getting licensed to become a therapist and I'm gonna be doing surf therapy. I grew up in an upper middle class community in Southern California, the oldest of five sisters. And along with a lot of privilege came a lot of childhood trauma. I was either subjected myself or had a front row seat to all the flavors of abuse, emotional, physical, sexual, substance. Um, a couple of years ago, I lost my sister and brother-in-law to a drug overdose and um, Throughout my life, uh, despite a lot of a lot of adverse events happening, I was, as the oldest, the one that was tasked to kind of keep it together. And um, the only way I was able to do that was because I had the ocean. But even that was complicated by the fact that learning to surf as a you know young woman in the mid '90s. Um, it, it wasn't a place for women. Like, I would paddle out and be the only girl most of the time, and I was told that I was doing something wrong, and that if I was the one girl out competing with the boys, that no one was gonna like me. And you know, as a as a early you know 13, 14, 15 year old, being accepted by your peers is like such a big thing. And um, I kind of went into high school being told by my family that um, no one was gonna like me. And it was, it was hard, but in the ocean, I found the self-confidence and the freedom and empowerment that I didn't have anywhere else. And then really quickly, I had a lot of success in surfing and I was competing and you know, I won a national title and I got sponsored and I started going on photo trips and I had a photo in the magazine and I was on a TV show and, and all of a sudden like people were swarming me asking me for my autograph and then it just it was just crazy you know I was living my dream I couldn't even imagine that I had come out of my whole family situation and I was off traveling the world as a professional surfer it was it was like too good to be true but you know at the same time I had this feeling that if people really got to know me that they wouldn't like me um, you know, with the modeling and the trade shows and all of that, I would have to just like put on this mask. Like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm Holly Beck now. And I would like come out like, okay, I'm ready. I'm, just, I'm positive, I'm confident, I'm social. You know, but inside there was a lot of anger and there was a lot of hurt and um, there wasn't much self-confidence. Wearing the mask was exhausting and I got to the point where I wanted to, to take it off. And I ran off to Central America and I feel like I really, I really found myself there. The ocean was always the place, is always the place that I go to, to find healing, to find play, to find joy, to find release, you know, whether it's childhood trauma or depression, anxiety, relationship breakups, just everyday drama that goes on in your life. You paddle out and the minute you hit that water, it's just like this feeling of like, like you feel so much better than, that first duck dive, it's like everything that you were dealing with on land is just gone, just washed right off. In surfing, you have to be really present. Um, you're totally connected to your body, all the sensations, the, the feeling of the water on your skin, um, the sound, uh, the smell of the salt water and, and the waves crashing. It just feels so good. When you're riding a wave, you know, you get into a state of flow where you're only focused on like that thing that's like right in front of you, you know, and as soon as you, as soon as you take your eye off of like what's right in front of you to look too far down the line, you know, you've blown it. It's like you really have to be like reacting in the moment and kind of turn off that part of your brain that's just like ruminating on all the stuff. And I've built my life around continuing to, to have that and then also um, 
helping to provide that for others. At Surf with Amigas, we've created this culture of empowerment and support and, uh, and community. I think people come down just thinking that they're gonna learn how to surf and they're gonna have an awesome vacation. And, and what they find is that through having the community of a group of other women and everybody's cheering for each other, whether you get the most amazing wave of your life or just the worst wipeout, like you're gonna come up and somebody's gonna be like cheering, like that was amazing, that was so sick, like that was awesome, like let's do it again. And everybody's in it together. And that is such a powerful thing to, you know, have women supporting other women in a society where we're taught to like be competitive and compare ourselves to others. That was epic. I'm Kathy Curcio. I've been surfing for about eight to nine years. Holly's got a great sense of humor and she always makes you feel better than you do about yourself. She gives you like little snippets of what you need to work on. She believes in you more than you believe in yourself and I think that's really important. So I'm Molly from Texas. Holly's coaching and videos that she shares with you are bar none. I mean, to see yourself surfing and have her give you the pointers that you need to improve is is huge. If you come get coached by Holly, she's gonna be full throttle the whole time and totally your cheerleader. And She is uh, very clear in her communication. You can tell she's got a ton of experience and wave knowledge and she knows how to tell you exactly what to work on and it's, she's, she's solid. I'm Melissa Camp, I'm from San Francisco. One of the best parts about surfing with Holly was just sitting, waiting for sets and talking about relationships and talking about attachment styles and talking about childhood trauma and talking about our feelings, something about being in my late 30s and really doing a lot of work on myself um, emotionally and mentally. It's amazing. Over the years I found the things that have been most rewarding is watching this transformational growth happen in people and have people come back you know the next year and say hey you know I got so inspired to break up with that boyfriend or leave that job or you know I've reevaluated my life and, and I want to do things differently and this new surf therapy program will just be an extension of that. I'm moving back to California. I'm going to be volunteering with a trauma-informed surf therapy organization called Groundswell, as well as putting together a holistic surf coaching program with a friend, Jess Ripley, who's already a licensed therapist. It's about a safe space to talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about in the context of surfing. So we're going to be working on surfing, improving your surfing, um, we're going to be doing video coaching, but it's also a place to talk about whatever else it is that you've got going on, whether it is childhood trauma, relationship stuff, um, life stuff, you know, because in one way or another, everyone's got it. And the ocean is such a great place to, to work on life skills because there's this motivation. Like if you want to learn how to surf, you're going to have to deal with fear. You're going to have to deal with anxiety. You're going to have feelings of like not feeling good enough, um, competitive with other people or just competitive with yourself, like competitive with the expectations that you've set for yourself. And I think that if you can find tools for dealing with that stuff in the surf, then those tools are going to be able to be applied to the rest of your life. Everybody is is working on themselves, not just pushing themselves surfing wise, but pushing themselves to grow emotionally, spiritually, mentally. We're all going through stuff all the time and that's okay. And, and we can support each other through it. And no matter what, when we go surfing, we're gonna come out of the water feeling better.